We begin with this. For the first time, President Obama is set to criticize the rollout of the Affordable Care Act. Millions of Americans have tried to sign up for health insurance at healthcare.com. Gov. Most of them have struggled just to log on. Well, last night, the Obama administration said it's going to bring in some high-powered help to tackle the website's problems. Bill Plant is at the White House. Bill, good morning. Nora, good morning. Well, the botched rollout of health care has not only embarrassed the White House, it also threatens the president's biggest legislative achievement. An administration source tells CBS News that the president is very upset. Today, he'll call the situation inexcusable when he addresses it here later this morning, surrounded by people who've already been helped by the Health Care Act. But he'll also make the case that the law is already working for thousands of others and will get better. On Sunday, the Secretary of the Treasury admitted that dissatisfaction with healthcare.gov goes straight to the top. I think that there's no one more frustrated than the president at the difficulty in the website. Nearly three weeks after the website launch, the administration says it is bringing in some of the best and brightest from both inside and outside government to help make improvements. Acknowledging the obvious, that the initial consumer experience, as they said, has not lived up to the expectations of the American people. Republicans were more blunt. Look, it's been a fiasco. Send Air Force One out to Silicon Valley, load it up with some smart people, bring them back to Washington and fix this problem. In a recent interview, Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius highlighted one of the problems. We didn't have enough testing, she said, specifically for high volumes for a very complicated project. On Sunday, they said about a half million people have submitted applications through the federal and state programs. These applications have been completed online, in paper form, and over the phone. But the administration is not saying how many of those were able to take the next step and actually select an insurance plan. That tells us no information as far as how many people have actually enrolled, and that is a very relevant matter because if enough people don't sign up for these exchanges, the rates on these exchanges are going to be astronomical. Still, supporters say the numbers show there's high interest in the president's new health care law. The number one worry before we started was, are people going to be interested? Will people sign up? And the answer to that is overwhelmingly yes. Well, last night the administration announced what it calls major changes to the website to make it easier to use, including an option that directs users to sign up by phone and showing users plans in their area without entering massive amounts of personal data. Secretary Sebelius remains a target. Republicans want her to testify before a House hearing. So far, she's refusing. Nora, Charlie. Bill, thank you.